Hi there, I'm Flavane and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use the debugger in Unity 3D. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing and check out my socials in the description of this video. Okay, so I've got a fresh third person core project here. You can just go into new project and they're one of the built-in ones, one of the templates, it's this third person core. It might be a little bit further down the list if you haven't got it installed, but that's what we'll use as our example. You can see if I just hit start and play, it's third person view, I can walk around, I can run around and it works fine without any errors. What we're gonna do is we're gonna break something in here. So I'll just go to player armature and open my third person controller. And with that open, I think this is probably a good enough line. We'll break the reference to main camera so it doesn't know what main camera is. I'll hit save there and this should cause some problems for us. If I just hit play again and try to walk. Yep, okay, we can see that I'm getting a whole lot of null errors and I'm getting quite a lot of them. So if I stop that and we have a look at the line that's giving a problem, it looks like it's this target rotation calculation here where we're working out the rotation using the main camera as well as some input direction. So what we could know when just looking at this at a high level, we know that there's potential problems with our input direction and we can also work out that there's probably a potential problem with our main camera here. What we could do here is we could normally just get a debug.log of our input direction.x and then do the same for our input direction.y and then we could also debug.log our main camera. And now if we played this again, what we'd find is that when we try to walk, we can see that we've got zero input direction, zero, and then a null. The null is obviously actually what the error is in this case, and that is one way you could find this. But it's not always gonna be that simple, and sometimes you're gonna to need to find out the exact state that something's in at that point in time, as well as the surrounding variables to work out what the problem is. And that's where this line by line debugger helps. So what we can do to get around this is we can attach a debugger, and that allows us to basically step through line by line the code as it executes. So I'm gonna delete my logs out of this and jump back into Unity. And in Unity, I'll just clear my error messages. We'll go into Edit Preferences. And in Preferences, just make sure your external tools are set to your Visual Studio Editor or whatever IDE that you're actually using. I'm using Visual Studio Community. It's just a free edition and it will have this attached to Unity. I believe it will come with the new Unity Hub installations. So you can actually just install it directly in there and it will automatically attach it to your project. And the other thing that we need to do in general is change our code optimization on startup from release to debug. And then we can close that there. Okay, and lastly, the thing that we wanna do is click this little bug down the bottom here and it will ask if we wanna to switch to debug mode. When we click this, it will render for a while and port some scripts and swap it over to using this debug mode. Now that this is attached, I would recommend restarting your project because it happens on startup that it detects what type of project you're running. You can see here that the message is code optimization on startup. So just restart your project. Okay, so now that we've restarted it, I'm gonna to go to player armature and I'm just gonna open up my third party controller. And in here, I will set a breakpoint. You can do that by just clicking off to the left of the line number that it's on. And you can see that it highlights all this line number. And then I'll click attach to Unity. You should see some values change down here and it says that it's gonna catch on this line 258. And it should also have a stop, a refresh and a pause button. So now that we've got that done, I'll jump back into Unity and I'm gonna hit play. And what we should see here is the moment I hit W to try and move, it catches immediately. So now that we've hit the breakpoint, there's actually several cool things we can do. Firstly, you can just hover your mouse over the values to find out information about these values. You could see here, for example, that this is the null camera and we know that obviously if you're trying to do something to a null, it's gonna give you some errors. But if you're doing something a bit more complex, you can actually see all of the information around it as well. So you can see input direction, target direction, and some information about this as well. So it gives you a whole lot of information about all the variables that we are currently at, at the point of this line. It's extremely helpful to find very complicated bugs. Up the top, we also have continue, which shows the next statement that it's gonna execute. You've got step into, and step into basically takes, if you're calling another function and you're passing in variables and so on, it's effectively like holding left control and then left clicking it to take you to the function that it's gonna be using. We also have step out of, and so step out of will say, I'm currently inside of the move function. I wanna move on to the next thing that is not inside of this function. And then we have step over, and step over will generally just process you down lines one by one. And the other thing that you can do as well is you could drag, if you wanted to go a few steps up, I could go back to this input line, and then I could hit step over, and it would move down to the next line after that and then the next line after that, next line after that. And you can basically step through and process each of these as it goes. I hope that was helpful. I have plenty of tutorials like this, as well as just teaching coding in general. 
and if that interests you, then please consider clicking that subscribe button. As always, I want to give a shout out to my patrons. We have Pat in the Emerald tier, Raphael in the Gold tier, Lanky Moose, and Castle Coders in the Silver tier. The support you guys provide helps me do these videos, so if you'd like to sign up as well, the link is patreon.com slash and the link is in the description. Thanks all.